What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. Today's Spooky Toberfest Warboss tutorial is on how to paint this slith. I'm gonna take you step by step through the process of how to go from painting the scales to is the rest of his body to all of his armor, which is my standard way of painting my Dark Eldar troops, and on just basically how to achieve the same effect that I did. So I hope you enjoy it, and I will start with right after I had primed the model black. Okay, enjoy the video! What up players? I got my slip here all put together and base coated black, so we're gonna get started with painting. I'm going to take some Dark Angels Green and here we are, Dark Angels Green. And I'm gonna paint all of his scales on the back, all of the green scales, as well as all of his armor plates on the front of the model. So the armor plates on his arms, his body armor, all of the hard armor plates, I'm gonna paint those Dark Angels green. And so it's also gonna be covering his head to his face as well, just not the soft underside. So like under his chin, we're gonna leave that black for now, and under under here, the soft underbelly. We're gonna leave that for now, and we're just gonna paint Dark Angels green. So I'll go and do that, and we'll be back after that's done. All right, after the Dark Angels green was put on, I put on the other base colors, and I'll go through those now. I did Hormagon purple for the scarf, the cloth around his waist, and I did Astronomicon Grey for the underside of the guy's belly as well as his chin. Then for the fingers, I did Regal Blue to highlight up the, the black witch suit underneath the, the armor. I also used Regal Blue to pick out what pattern I'm going to follow for the blue scales on his back when we eventually highlight those up. Then I did Calton Brown for all the areas that are going to be gold and Bolt Gun Metal for all the silver. And that was it. He's got a belt and pouches that I usually would paint up Calton Brown, but the Games Workshop model shows that it's black, so I'm just going to leave it black. And I also did scorpion green for the little breathing or venom tube or whatever tube they have, all the Dark Eldar have. It's usually a bright green. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the washes. All of the green is going to be washed with Bad Ab Black. Also the Astronomicon Grey Underbelly is going to be washed with Bad Ab Black. The purple, I'm going to use Leviathan Purple. And yeah, there's not going to be any Devlin mud because there's not going to be any brown areas. So I'm going to go over the Calton brown areas with shining gold. And other than that, I'm going to cover everything in bad at black. I'm going to do the gold areas first because all in his gauntlet, all four of his gauntlets have a gold symbol on it that I've painted in Calton brown now. So I'm going to go over that with shining gold first before I do anything else. And then I'm going to wash just about everything in Bad Ab Black, except for the scarf around his waist, which again I'm going to use Leviathan Purple. So I will see you when that is done. So after the wash is dried, I decided to go back in and start highlighting back up. So for the underside of the bellies, it looks pretty messy now, but um, I'm going to see if I can shade and re-highlight later. It's just the the fine cast, I think I might have gotten a bad mold on the tail, or maybe the super glue melted. You can see right there, it looks pretty melted together. So, but I'm gonna go back in with some Astronomicon Grey, mix in a little skull white. I used Lich Purple for the, the scarf around the waist, 
And then, okay, for the highlighting of the scales, I went back in with Snot Green. And because the Bad Eye Black was so dark, it kind of got rid of all the Regal Blue because Regal Blue is pretty dark as well. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to highlight all of the scales green, get them to a nice bright green, and then when the scales are nice and bright and I'll be able to see where the, the lines are that I want to paint blue, then I'll do that. So I just used some Snot Green to dry brush the scales back up. And then I used Snot Green as an edge highlight for the armor plates. And if you see on the top part of the, the body, I used Snot Green, Citadel color. And then for the bottom part, I mixed in Arcane Blue, which is a P3 paint. You could also use Ice Blue. But I mixed it into the Snot Green and I really tried to hit only the edges as much as possible and to feather them out in the in the middle so you still see that green underlying color. So what I'm going to do is, this is what it'll look like when you put the snot green on. I'm going to finish painting arcane blue up the rest of the way. I also use golden yellow for the eyes and so I'm going to put the little snake eye in now and I'm also going to highlight up the metallics so that gets nice and nice and painted up the gold and the silver. And when I'm done with that, I will show you what I have. See you in a bit. So after I built up the armor with the highlights, I gave it one more wash of Bad Ab Black to darken the shadows even more and so that the highlights did not pop out so much. And then I went over the scales on the slit's back and as you can see they're a lot brighter so I kept the or I, I feathered I'm sorry I, I dry brushed snot green and then goblin green and then finally I did a light dry brush of scorpion green and I did all those three before I went on to the blue and for the blue I just picked out all along the center of the back in enchanted blue and then I did the, the sides in Enchanted Blue and I just picked out single scales which are, are a lot easier to do when you've got them all dry brushed and highlighted in that bright green color. And then after Enchanted Blue I used Ice Blue and that's what gives you this scaly pattern along its back. kind of wish he had a rattle on the end of his tail, that would have been fun. And then let's see what else did I do? I I painted in his eyes, his pupils with golden yellow, and then with a slash of chaos black. And oh yeah, the gem on his sash, I painted blood red, and then I added a little bit of dwarf flesh, and then I painted the center and the horizontal, the vertical and the horizontal lines at the center. So there you have it after highlighting up the metallics again and going back over the gold with burnished gold and a little bit of mithril silver. I highlighted some of the black areas on the side with Codex Grey along with his, the fingers of his gloves to show that they were a different material than the hard which or the, than the hard armor. And let's see, is there anything else that I forgot to mention? I painted back up the underbelly with Astronomicon Grey <clears throat> and then a really thin down bad at black wash to, to tie the the grey together and then I added in a little bit of a skull white and I just finally highlighted the edges, not over the whole thing. And that is about it. So the last thing I'm going to do is I started painting the base. I'm just going to add a little bit of a snow effect. And then I'll show you my completed model. So I finished adding some snow and that is going to do it for my War Boss tutorial on how to paint up a slith. I uh, am doing a different way of making my slushy snow now, instead of using glue, I decided to try getting the gloss effect by using water effects mixed with some citadel snow. And it, it makes a pretty good slushy snow effect and it crystallizes and still retains that shine. And then once it's dry then I just add some gloss varnish over it to, to give it some more, some more shine. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it kind of matches the Games Workshop paint scheme pretty well and I'm pretty happy with it. So hope you enjoyed this Spooky Toberfest video on how to paint a slith. 
please leave your likes, comments, and um, anything else down below. Reactions, I guess, is the new thing, right? So, make this incredible, make this slith incredible before you go. And um, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next Spookytoberfest video.